You should now be familiar with factoring trinomials with a leading coefficient of 1, but what we're going to be doing today is factoring trinomials with a leading coefficient other than 1. So at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to factor a quadratic trinomial with a leading coefficient that is not equal to 1. All right, what we are going to do is actually jump right into a problem. We've got 3x squared plus 22x plus 24. All right, we are basically going to follow the same steps that we followed before, but we're just going to have to add a little bit in because you'll notice that in all the other problems in our previous video, there was just an x squared. We now have 3x squared, so that's going to change what we do just a little bit. All right, we're still going to, since it's a quadratic trinomial, I know that I'm going to have two factors. You'll recall in the last one we just put x and x. This time we're going to put 3x and 3x, so whatever number's there, we actually get to write it twice. But you will notice if I were to multiply this out, I would get um, 3x times 3x is equal to 9x squared. That's too big. So before I'm done, I actually need to divide the 3 out. All right. Um, just an FYI, this is called the magic number trick. It's just a method to help us find the answer so that I don't have to do a bunch of guessing and checking. All right, so what we are going to do, just like what we did in the previous examples, we're going to do 3 times 24, okay, and we'll get 72, and then we'll write down what times what would give us 72. 9 times 8, um, 24 times 3, uh, 12 times 6, 18 times 4. We've got all sorts of choices, and then remember we're going to add those together. 9 plus 8 would be 17, 24 plus 3 is 27, 12 plus 6 is 18, 18 plus 4 is 22. I actually have lots more choices that I could keep listing, but I noticed that I did get the answer of 22 that I was looking for. So we are going to use this choice right here, plus 18 and plus 4. So I found my choices, and now what I'm going to be doing um, is dividing out this extra 3 from the problem. So I'm going to look at which one of these would 3 go into both parts. And I notice in this one, the 3 would go into both of those parts. So we're going to divide this specific one both parts by 3. So if I do that, I'm going to end up with x plus 6. And then the other one, we just carry down. Alrighty, so that's how we're going to do that. The next one, I have 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Again, we, it is a quadratic trinomial, so I know that I'm going to have my two sets of parentheses. And instead of putting x and x, I'll put 2x and 2x, which means I introduced an extra 2 to the problem. So when I'm done, I'm going to have to divide it out. All right, just like what we did in the previous one, we'll take the first number times the last number. 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And now I'm just going to start listing choices. Negative 3 times 2, negative 2 times 3, negative 6 times 1, negative 1 times 6. And then let's look at what we get when we add those. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Negative 1 plus 6 is 5. I was hoping to get 5, and I did. So it's this choice right here, minus 1 plus 6. All right, and then we're not quite done until we divide this 2 back out. I do notice the second one this time, 2 will go into both of those parts. So we'll just bring the 2x minus 1 down. And then if I divide both parts by 2, I'll get x plus 3. And then please remember that if I were to multiply this back out, I will get what I started with. That's one nice way to check it. Alrighty, I have 7x squared plus x minus 8. The first thing that I'm going to do is put a 1 in front of the x just to help me out. Alright, it is a quadratic trinomial, so I know that I will have two parts. Instead of putting x and x, I will put 7x and 7x. We'll take the first number times the last number, and that will give me negative 56. And then I'm just going to write down some choices. Negative 8 times 7, negative 7 times 8. Um, that's all I'm going to write down, actually. I could do negative 56 times 1. Um, when I add them together, negative 8 plus 7 is negative 1. Negative 7 times negative 7 plus 8 is 1. I found my answer right there because I was looking for that 1. So minus 7 plus 8. Hopefully you noticed that I forgot to divide by 7 when I started. So we're going to pick which one of those am I going to divide out of the 7 in. It's going to be the first one this time, because 7 goes into both parts. So if I divide both parts by 7, I'll get x minus 1. And then in the second case, we'll just leave that as 7x plus 8. So that is factored. All right, I'm hoping that you'll pause the video at this point in time and try this example and then come back and see how you did. All right, on this one, since it is a quadratic trinomial, again, we'll set it up the same way. Instead of x and x, we'll put 5x and 5x, but I will have to divide out that extra 5 when I'm done. Take the first number times the last number. 
5 times 6 is 30. And then what times what is 30? Let's see, 10 times 3. And I do notice there's a negative up there, so I'm going to try to get some negatives in here. Negative 10 times negative 3. 15 times 2. Negative 15 times negative 2. Um, I think I can stop. 10 plus 3 is 13. Negative 10 plus negative 3 is negative 13. That's exactly what I wanted. Alrighty, so we are set. I'm going to pick this one. Oh, yes, I'm going to pick this one right here. Minus 10 and minus 3. So we will look at which one do I get to divide it out of. It's going to be this one because 5 will go into both parts. So this first one will turn into x minus 2, and the second one remains 5x minus 3. And that now is factored. All right, we're going to get, try to get a little bit tricky on you here. I'm going to erase this example. I like another one instead. We're going to do 6x squared plus 7x minus 3. All right, it is a quadratic trinomial, so I know that I get to put my two parts. And instead of x and x, we're going to do 6x and 6x. And then we're going to take the first number times, whoops, I need to divide out the 6 when I'm done. Don't forget that step. 6 times negative 3 is negative 18. And then I'll just be listing some choices. Oh, let's see, negative 6 times 3, negative 3 times 6, negative 9 times 2, negative 2 times 9. Let's see if that was enough. Negative 6 plus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 6 is 3. Negative 9 plus 2 is negative 7. Well, I'm close. And negative 2 plus 9 is 7. We found it because I was looking for a positive 7. So minus 2 plus 9. All right. Please remember that we usually try to pick which one of these would 6 go into both parts. Well, 6 doesn't go into both parts on either of them. So we're going to get very tricky here. On this one, I do notice that 2 goes into both parts. And I do notice on this one that 3 goes into part, both parts. And guess what? 2 times 3 is 6. So we're just going to split the 6 up. So we're going to divide this one by 2 and we'll divide this one by 3. So if I divide both parts of this one by 2, I'll get 3x minus 1. And if I'll divide the second one by 3, I'll get 2x plus 3. So that would be what it is factored. All right, let's try one more. And again, I don't want that problem. Let's do a different one. Let's put 4x squared plus 4x minus 15. All right, what we are going to do in this one, since it's a quadratic trinomial again, we'll have 4x and 4x. And don't forget, we've got to divide by that 4. 4 times negative 15 is negative 60. Be careful not to forget the negatives. And then, boy, let's think of some choices. We're going to have um, negative 3 times 20, negative 20 times 3, negative 10 times 6, negative 6 times 10. I'm looking for a positive 4. This will give me 17, negative 17 negative 4, voila, we found our choice, it's right there. So minus 6 and plus 10. All right, we'll look at which one of those could I divide 4 out of both parts. Again, I can't divide 4 out of either of them. And so I'm going to look at what could I divide out of this. I could divide out a 2. What could I divide out of this one? It would be a 2. And fortunately, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. So we can cross off the 4, we just split it. So we'll divide this one by 2. We'll divide this one by 2. So when I do that, I'll get 2x minus 3. And here I'll get 2x plus 5. And so it now is factored. So hopefully now you can factor a trinomial when the leading coefficient is not 1.